since the April 5th earthquake in the Northeast, there have been over 50 aftershocks. And they're saying they are now trying to deploy after uh, shock sensors to try to pinpoint where the fault is located. They still don't know. So scientists have yet to pinpoint the fault that ruptured in New Jersey on April 5th and rattled much of the Northeast. Now the U.S. Uh, geological survey researchers are in the process of installing new monitor equipment to better measure aftershocks and help solve that mystery. So they have recorded at least over 50 aftershocks since the 4.8 magnitude earthquake last Friday. The federal agency announced Thursday that it's installing five new seismometers in a few miles from the site of the earthquake to monitor future rumblings. With new data, we should definitely be able to see what fault these uh, earthquakes are occurring on. Um, now, they are thinking it is an old ancient fault line somewhere in New Jersey, and they just don't know where it is that is now active again. And whether it's a mapped fault or not, it's hard to say. This is one of what one of the researchers were saying. Um, they'll give us a picture of what the fault network look like. And if it happens to cause a larger earthquake, we'll have the instruments in the area to capture that. A group of researchers from the University of Texas and Rutgers University, Yale University and Columbia University are also installing 20 additional um, monitors to aid efforts in mapping a fault network. The earthquake, which shook buildings from Maryland to Maine, was the strongest in New Jersey in more than 200 years. It left no surface rupture and the use of LIDAR or a light detection and ranging technology which uses laser pulses to detect hidden geologic features. So they said they did try to use that, but it came back inconclusive about exactly where the quake occurred. But they do believe that fault system is in New Jersey. So, they're saying, you know, wherever it originated from should contain tumbled collections of cracks that are remnants of ancient tectonic processes. So they're saying, you know, this is probably going to be a slow process, but they're hoping that once they can pinpoint exactly the origins of where this thing occurred, they'll have a better idea for future quakes because they're saying the 5.0 or greater is coming. It's coming. Now we did where in the location that I'm in, we felt a few of those aftershocks, but we did not feel all of them. I, I think more in the Northern part of the state, they felt more of them than we did. So, but it's definitely happening. Y'all gonna have to tell me, you know, what you think. So, you know, there is a concern because they said um, where it may be located, it could be in a large populated area, you know, and that's one of the concerns they had. And they were saying in the central and eastern part of the U.S., it's rare to get something of this magnitude. 
Yeah, I mean, usually the ones we had, I think they were ranged like in the 2.0 or maybe even a little higher. But yeah, a 4.8, that is the strongest I can recall in my lifetime that we had in the Northeast. So um, they said at one point in time they did have monitoring equipment in the Northeast, but it was cut back in 2019 because the network lost federal funding. Fewer than half of its 45 stations were operating when the 4.8 uh, earthquake struck. More data from the network might have helped researchers pinpoint the quake's location. And they said the closest station to where the earthquake originated was 75 kilometers. So, and they said that's about 46 miles away from where they believe it originated. Knowing precisely where these earthquakes were located was very difficult since the quake at least one station in Lamont's region network has been revived. So uh, they said the added, the patterns of the aftershocks since the event has been typical and there have been fewer than initially expected. So I don't know, I guess maybe they thought there would be hundreds of aftershocks, but there's been a little over 50. So uh, with magnitudes in the upper twos and higher, it will likely continue for another week. Um, the aftershocks could persist for months. And the additional um, equipment are expected to remain in New Jersey for the next three to six months. So that's all they're saying. They still don't know. It's a mystery on the origins of where this thing started, but uh, they are still, um, they still believe it was in New Jersey. So y'all, you're going to have to tell me what you think. If you're more north in New Jersey, let me know if you felt some of the aftershocks. Now I did, but I felt it like within the days after the quake. And then this past week, I didn't really feel too much of nothing. I would say like the first two, three days after the quake, I felt something. But after that, I really didn't feel much, but I did see in the news that the aftershocks were occurring, but they were occurring in places more north of where I am. So please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.